Hello, Pasangala. Welcome and welcome. This is your master teacher Niveta, making bio learning very, very simplified, just for all of you guys. To shine like a sun, first burn like a sun. You know the meaning, na pa? Always, always be ready to learn. Keep yourself with high energy. Okay, be passionate about what you do. Everything else will be taken care of. Ungal ke teriyama, ninge laro ungulo na goal hai. Oru naal kandi pa reach panir pinga. That is the power of self motivation pasangla. So inne ko na topic enna na pa ungal already lar ko teriyo. I'm going to do the entire animal kingdom in one shot. Okay. Hi, hi. How are you guys? Abdir kinga. Hope all of you are doing good. Yes. So, first question. Animal Kingdom लंदी इतना questions वारों उनके neat exam के. Does anyone have any idea? इधर चोर idea आर का. यो ब्लो questions वारों Animal Kingdom लंदी ने. Hi, hi, Madan. और rough idea. Confirm है आराल ये सोलम लिया था. और interpretation इन सोला ला. So from Animal Kingdom. You get around two to three questions. Two to three question na enna eight to twelve marks. So all of you are going to stay with me till the end of the life to get that eight marks or twelve marks in your pocket. And that eight or twelve marks is going to make a huge change in your ranking. Okay? ये रोम्बो रोम्बो easy है ना chapter पसंग लाइन एक eleventh लिए animal kingdom ना रोम्बो easy इन तोड़ो. Okay, because you have all seen all those, right? उंगल का तो memory लांडर उम्बो नल्ला आय रखो, and this is all memory based. Okay, so before we get into the session, three to four, or sorry, two to three, four is like maximum. Okay, yeah, yes. By the end of today's session, और link कुर्तर को, okay, description ला, do go and check your knowledge in the class लो उंगल के उम्बलो पुरन जरक पुरी लाने, you can immediately check, take the quiz, okay? Don't miss to take the quiz. Come on, let's get into animal kingdom. So whole vertebrates, invertebrates, chordates, all that you need, Nama, mudi ke por. Okay? Yes. So you have millions of animals. So before I get into the session, yara la erking lo, who all are watching, please do uh, give. Eda chor, uh, yeah. You can take this victory symbol. The victory symbol use pani kala na malke. Okay? Yara la session la erking lo, angal la attendance porenga. Yes. We'll get into the session. Millions of animal species have been there till today, correct? How have we been able to classify it? Eppri namanala classify panna mudin chadu. I think all of you know about Carolus Linnaeus, right? He was the one who actually started this classification. Aungla da father of classification in solro living world chapter la rukku, correct? So yedo or criteria vachchi namavandu organisms classify panro. And the criteria da the basis of classification. Okay, if our class, how do we classify students? Maybe based on their height, maybe based on their marks, maybe based on certain criteria. That criteria is called, is called what? Basis of class. Yeah, this is also good. Trophy is also good. Okay, anything you can use. In yeah. the basis in Paklama, arrangement of cells. How are the cells arranged? That is the rombo rombo mukhya mana criteria. Organization, level of organization, cellular level, tissue level, organ level, organ system level, a symmetry, how the body can be divided, that is also one kind of classification. Celo, body cavity, a digestive system, circulatory system, reproductive system. Idelantium base panida, namavanda organisms classify panro. Okay, first let's get into the first concept that is level of organization. So, in Marco, cell theory namavarka, does everyone remember cell theory? Cell theory lena, cells will form tissues, right? Tissues will form organ. Okay, organ will form organ system and organ system will form organism. Correct? So, these are the levels of organization. Pasangla, sila organism, you were high, high. 
hi bala so sila organism le the organism function at cellular level appo nam adha enna solrom cellular level of organization sila organism le they function at tissue level we call them as tissue level of organization sila organism le they function at organ system level of organization naal level of organization cell tissue organ organ system ellarku idu purinjada did everyone understand what is level of organization okay great ipo symmetry symmetry na enna ipo inda or book irukku and the book vandu na renda equal ah divide panna mudiyum correct ah adhu da symmetry okay so there are three kinds of symmetry asymmetrical radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry asymmetrical na enna i cannot divide it into two equal halves இப்போ உங்க ஸ்பான்சஸ் இருக்கு நான் அதை எந்த ரேடியஸ்லயுமே அதை ஈக்குவலா நான் டிவைடே பண்ண முடியாது ஓகே தே ஆர் சோ எசிமெட்ரிக்கல் ரேடியல் சிமெட்ரினா என்ன ஐ கேன் டிவைட் தி ஆர்கானிசம் இன்டு ஈக்குவல் ஹாஸ் அலாங் எனி ஆஃப் தி ரேடியஸ் இமேஜின் திஸ் இஸ் தி ஆர்கானிசம் இன் தி ரேடியஸ்ல கட் பண்ணலாம் இன் தி ரேடியஸ்ல கட் பண்ணலாம் இன் தி ரேடியஸ்ல கட் பண்ணலாம் கரெக்ட் யூ கேன் டிவைட் இட் இன்டு ஈக்குவல் ஹாஸ் அலாங் எனி ஆஃப் தி ரேடியஸ் சோ தட் இஸ் வாட் we call it as ரேடியல் சிமெட்ரி ஓகே புரிஞ்சதா பசங்களா ரேடியல் சிமெட்ரினா ரேடியல் சிமெட்ரி எங்க இருக்கு சீலன் ட்ரேட்ஸ் அண்ட் டீனோஃபோர்ஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் கவலைப்படாதீங்க we will discuss okay bilateral symmetry i can divide the organism into two equal halves we are all bilaterally symmetrical okay right from your analog till your arthropods till human beings all of us are bilaterally symmetrical the organism in can be divided into equal half along a single central plane okay all of you understood please do let me know if you have understood symmetry very important okay idu parunga idu da na sonnadu radial symmetry inga pathinga ipdi divide pannala ipdi divide pannala ipdi divide pannala you will get the same equal parts this is your bilateral symmetry i can divide it along one equal plane only okay is it clear pasangala romba romba easy okay unga molecular basis mari biotechnology mari in the chapter kashtame kedaiyadu romba easy okay yes next coelom so what is this coelom first coelom la enna nu purinjikalam okay imagine this is my body wall okay i have taken a cross section okay இது வந்து என்னோட கட் கட்னா என்ன என்னோட டைஜஸ்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் ஓகே இது வந்து என்னோட கட் வால் ஓகே த ஸ்பேஸ் பிட்வீன் மை பாடி வால் அண்ட் த கட் வால் இந்த ஸ்பேஸ் தெரியுதுல இதை தான் நம்ம சீலோம்னு சொல்றோம் வாட் இஸ் திஸ் கால் சீலோம் ஓகே வெரி 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 இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் in the based on the presence or absence of சீலோம் organisms are classified into three types. ஒன்னு வந்து ஏ சீலோமேட்ஸ் அவங்களுக்கு பாடி கேவிட்டியே இருக்காது ஏ நா அப்சென்ட் ஓகே சீலோமஸ் அப்சென்ட் பிளாட்டி ஹெலிமென்ட்ஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் சூடோ சீலோமேட் ஓகே சூடோ சீலோமேட்னா சீலோம் இருக்கு ஓகே அங்கங்க இந்த மாதிரி மீசோடோம் வந்து பவுச்சஸ்ல இருக்கும் ஓகே சோ இட் இஸ் நாட் a complete சீலோம் பாடி கேவிட்டி வந்து ஃபுல்லா ஃப்ரீயா இல்ல ஓகே இட் இஸ் ஹேவிங் ஸ்கேட்டர்ஸ் பவுச்சஸ் ஆஃப் மீசோ ஐ ஷோ யூ that is coelomates in the coelomates nam enna solrom true coelom nu solrom okay they have a body cavity okay i want to show you a picture adu ellarkum picture paatha purinjirum okay yes you can see here idu vandu coelom you can see here the body cavity you can see the pseudo coelomate they have a body cavity but the body cavity is having what mesoderm pouches மீசோடம் நான் சொல்றேன் ஓகே ஹியர் யூ டோன்ட் சி எனி பாடி கேவிட்டி அப்ப நான் இது என்ன பசங்களா இது வந்து உங்களோட கட் ஓகே இஸ் இட் கிளியர் டிட் எவ்ரி ஒன் இந்த கிளாஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் சீலோமேட் யூ சீலோமேட் அண்ட் ஏ சீலோமேட் சூடோ சீலோமேட் புரிஞ்சுதா பேஸ்ட் ஆன் திஸ் ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் வேர் கிளாசிஃபைட் ஓகே வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ரொம்ப ஈஸியும் கூட இது நைன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட்லயும் படிச்சிருப்பீங்க நீங்க எல்லாம் ஓகே ஐ ஹாவ் அ குவிக் question paapo etra per answer pandringa nu identify this is all neat based question okay so neat exam la kekka koodiya kelvinga idala identify the characteristic of a coelomate okay absence of mesoderm absence of brain okay coelom that is incompletely lined with a mesoderm solid body without a cavity surrounding the internal organs a a coelomate 
I want everyone watching this live to answer this an answer this question. They don't have a cavity without a cavity. Okay. Option D is the answer. Solid body without a cavity surrounding internal organs. This is the answer, Pasangla. Okay. Yes. Nipo. Embryonic layers, the next basis of classification. Now, we have germ layers. Germ layers in solla, illa germinal layers in solla. Can anyone tell me the germ layers? Yarachi, ethana germ layers in solla medima? Moon germ layers. How many are there, Pasangla? Three. What are they? The outer ectoderm, the middle mesoderm, and the inner endoderm. Okay? Inner ectoderm. So, ectona in a belly, okay? Ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. These are the three germ layers that we have, okay? Endoderm. So, what is this germ layer? Yes, ecto, endo, and meso. Very good, Bala. Very good, crazy dude. Yes. What are these germ layers, Pasangla? These are the germ layers which will give rise to various other parts of your body when you become a fetus. Fetus nana, when you become a baby, this is going to form certain organs. Like your ectoderm, it will form your skin. Okay, you have your endoderm, that will form your digestive system. Andamari irke. Okay, so you have two kinds of organism based on your embryonic layer. One is the diploblastic. Diploblastic, na, na, they have only two layers. The outer ectoderm and the inner endoderm. They do not have mesoderm. Rombo easy. Porifera nidaria. We will talk about examples later. Triploblastic, na, na, moon a germ layer. Irke. It has mesoderm, ectoderm and endoderm. Simple. Rombo easy. Clear? Understood all of you what is diploblastic and triploblastic? Any doubts? Clear akurutur compare. So this is your ectoderm, this is your endoderm, and this is your mesoderm. Are they diploblastic organism? La, ectoderm endoderm irke, adhik nadula, or a jelly marina substance irke, and the substance per mesoglia. So where is mesoglia present pasangla? Diploblastic. Elar eldinga? Mesoglia is present in diploblastic. Please keep a notebook, pen and your NCRT with you. Okay, I am covering everything from NCRT point of view only. Okay, please do make a note of this. So, mesogliandra venga irukku, enoda diploblastic organism la irukku. Ippo na sonna la circulatory system base pannu nama organism a classify pannu onne. Onnu vandhu open type, inno onnu vandhu closed type. Open type na enna pasangla, the heart is there, no? The heart pumps the blood into the body cavity. Anga blood vessels, arteries, veins, adhala irukka ve irukkaadu. Okay, your cockroach is a very good example for open circulatory system. Okay, next you have closed circulatory system. Closed, na, na, we are very good examples for closed. We have a heart, we have blood vessel, we have capillaries, correct? Ha? So that is closed circulatory system. Apro, digestive system, la, rendu vidu arukku, okay? One is complete, okay? And other one is incomplete. Can anybody in the class tell me what do you mean by complete and incomplete digestive system? Yaracha solunga complete na inna, incomplete na inna when it comes to digestive system. Anybody in the class? Complete na, yes, I'll just wait for a minute. Okay, complete na, the digestive system starts with mouth and ends with anus. Rendu opening irkonga digestive system la. Okay, so it will have start with mouth and anus okay you will have two openings ana unga incomplete yes yes whereas in your incomplete digestive system there is only single opening which will act both as mouth and anus okay so here it is single opening purinjada ellarku how the organisms are classified based on their circulatory system and digestive system okay Segmentation. You best example, earthworm. Ethana per earthworm patharkinga, all of you would have seen it, right? Obviously. And the earthworm la 
segments paathirkeengla how beautifully they will be segmented so there will be internal and external uh, segmentation internal la ena ullayum segmentation irukko veliyum segmentation irukko and every segment will have repeated organs okay like your uh, when i talk about earthworm they will have excretory organ they will have heart okay ella segment liyu ella organs um irukiradha da we call it as metamerism ellarku idu varaikku purinjada or all of you watching me or all of you understanding so what is metamerism true segmentation ipo indha mari metamerism metagenesis nu nariya padipinga so confuse aaga venda so ellarum chat section la metamerism dash true segmentation nu eludunga please do write it true segmentation so one best example of true segmentation is your annelids okay so based on segmentation we are classifying organisms okay ivula da idu da segmentation oda information okay yes idu da romba romba important noto card okay we have two important five core data and non core data correct so the kingdom animalia is divided into two branches one is chordates another one is non chordates in the noto card endradhu ennadu it is derived from mesoderm so enga irund derive pandranga i told you ectoderm endoderm mesoderm and moon germ layer irukku correct ah adula vande unga mesoderm la irund unga noto card ah nama derive pandrom adu enna or structure it is a rod like structure enga irukku enoda dorsal side la irukku ellaru idha clear ah nabu vechukonga front side is ventral back side is dorsal okay so enga irukke enoda noto card dorsal side la irukke adu or important ana information okay during embryonic development in some animals those animals which have noto card are called chordates okay those animals which do not have noto card are called non chordates okay in the non chordates nama invertebrates nu solrom enna nu solrom pasangala invertebrates nu solrom did everyone understand still here any doubts ipo they are further classified okay chordates pathi konja nera kalichi paakalam ipo non chordates pathi paakalam right from porifera to to echinodermata all of them do not have a noto cord okay i will continue now yes edach doubt irundha solunga so ethana phylum irukku pasangala phylum you have 11 phylum let's see this a little later so idu vandu ungaloda core data la varum adu apramma paakalam ipo invertebrates la i want everyone to understand it in the same order maathadinga idhe order la padichukonga okay porifera p okay nidaria you can write it as c nidaria va nama coelenterata nu kuda solrom okay coelenterata okay tinophora platy helminthes ask elementus annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata idu or chinna or mnemonics mari solli thara okay you remember it as p c square p a cube m e you can easily remember it okay i want everyone to write this p for porifera c first c for coelenterata second c for tinophora the next one platy helminthes ask elementus annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata okay very very interesting so let's start with the very first phylum porifera okay can i get uh, thumbs up that you are all with me you are all understanding okay proceed pannala idu dhaan classification pasangala on the basis idu dhaan avanga basis of classification parunga based on levels of organization so you have cellular level so cellular level la enna irukku ungaloda porifera irukku okay then tissue or organ or organ system level inga edha base panni classify pandrom symmetry radial symmetry la ore or rendu phylum irukku coelenterata tinophora okay tissue or organ system idla bilateral symmetry la a coelomate pseudo coelomate and coelomate nu irukke okay a coelomate la oru phylum platy helminthes okay pseudo coelomate la oru phylum ask helminthes then you have true coelomate you have all these phylum 
okay anelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata all that okay we'll continue idu unga ncrt picture da first porifera va nama enna nu kooprona sponges nu kooprom okay they look like a sponge that's why we call them as sponges they are generally marine there are very few aquatic sponges so fresh water sponges okay all of them are aquatic they are asymmetrical that means what their body cannot be divided into equal halves okay they are primitive multicellular they have cellular level of organization avangalukku tissues kedaiyadu organ kedaiyadu organ system kedaiyadu all of them function only at cellular level okay that's very 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 important to understand okay so idha patti inga explain pandra their body irukla avanga body la numerous pores irukum okay they are the pores that are present on the body adha nama enna nu solrom ostia nu solrom okay the pores that are present in the body are called ostia okay adukapram you have one opening or mouth marina structure irukke and the mouth marina structure nama vande osculum nu solrom okay and they have a cavity you can see here and this cavity is called spongocele everything is very very important ostia osculum spongocele okay and what do you see this the entire spongocele is lined by special cells called coanocytes okay in the coanocytes ku innor per irukku adu per collar cells okay every word that i utter is an important question pasangala okay innor vishayam enna na nammalku eppadi skeletal system irukku correct ah we all have bones correct there is an internal endoskeleton that endoskeleton is called spicules every word is a possible question in your exam okay ninga kekka ma'am edhukku inda ostia edhukku inda osculum why the spongocele because remember pasangala they don't have any other kind of organs so this ostia they are all aquatic right so ostia will bring in water inside so thanni vandu ulle varo the water will bring the oxygen the water will bring the food okay there is going to be an intracellular digestion that will happen and all the waste particles will be removed through osculum so idu vandu nama enna nu solrona water canal system nu solrom unga echinodermates la irukiradhu water vascular system inga irukiradhu water canal system pasangala all of you stay with me i will make this learning very very easy okay so enna coanocytes nu endradhu enadhu in the collar marina cells irukla they are called coanocytes or collar cells every line is important okay so eppadi kekkalam where are coanocytes present romba simple porifera okay okay where are your spicules present porifera okay that's it now we shall read this this is what i was trying to tell digestion is intracellular okay the body is the body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers rendu vidamana skeleton irukku onnu vandu spicule innonu vandu spongin fiber sexes are not separate appadina enna ore organism la male reproductive and female reproductive organs irukum adha nama enna nu solluvo bisexual nu solluvo okay we call it as bisexual or hermaphrodites okay adha vandu nama bisexual nu solluvo hermaphrodites nu solluvo sponges reproduce asexually i think all of you know what is asexual and sexual reproduction okay Uh, by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gamete fertilization is internal okay development is indirect id romba romba mukyam indirect na enna it involves larval stages okay enna irukku indirect development na it basically involves larval stage i hope it is clear still here pasangla if you have any doubts please do let me know examples or mnemonics irukku idukku okay pore all your sides okay p is porifera okay all spongilla all sound irudhala so spongilla u r is u spongia and sides is sigon 
okay so these are all some of the examples which is given in your textbook examples rombo rombo mukyo they have been asking examples in your neat okay sicon euspongia and spongilla three important examples okay can we continue pasangla yes this is your fresh water sponge rombo important they can ask you which porifera can survive in water fresh water fresh water na na unga river pond lake adha da fresh water which sponge is called bath sponge they use it for bathing okay so adha vandu euspongia yeah. okay and this is your sicon it looks exactly the real images okay any doubts till here bisexual hermaphrodite monoecious yes correct bhm very good இது வந்து உங்க டெக்ஸ்ட் புக்ல கொடுத்துருக்கிறது என்சிஆர்டி லைன் பை லைன் நிறைய பேர் கேட்டுட்டு இருந்தீங்க ஸோ யூ ஹவ் ஆஸ்டியா ஸ்பாஞ்சோசீல் ஆஸ்கியூலம் இதெல்லாம் நம்ம டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணிட்டோம் அப்புறம் தே ஹாவ் குவானோசைட்ஸ் ஆர் காலர் செல்ஸ் டைஜஷன் இஸ் இன்ட்ரா செல்லுலார் ஓகே அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் அ ஸ்கெலட்டன் மேட் அப் ஆஃப் ஸ்பிக்யூலார் ஸ்பாஞ்சின் ஃபைபர் ஹர்மோஃப்ரோடைட்ஸ் okay they reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by fusion of gamete this example is very very important in the bracket la kuduthirukanga la adu romba romba important okay the bracket words are also very important nareya vaati ipa epdi pandranga na they are asking match the following from this okay can we continue all yes or no are you all understanding again this is an ncert picture yeah i have a quick question let me see how many of you will answer it in case of poriferin the spongio seal is lined with flagellated cells called yes yes there are few people watching solunga enna enna answer idukku let me see how many of you will answer it ye is Yes, few of them are answering. I want everyone watching the live to answer. One thing I want to answer is that I will answer all of them. Yes, it is collar cells or quanocytes. Okay, so the answer is option B. You know this, you get four marks. Okay, which is not a joke. Okay, next. I have one more question. Body having meshwork of cell. internal cavity lined with food filtering flagellated cell and indirect development are the characteristics of i don't know padichirukade ore or phylum da so this answer should not be difficult solunga what is the answer yes yes mesh work na ikka solra oru nimisham you can see here inga theriyada the mesh work this is the mesh work or mesh marina appearance okay or pores are called they have body the body is having full of pores that is what we call it as mesh work okay purunjada bala now let's move on to the next one that is your coelentrata so coelentrata va nama innor peru solli solrom nidarian so naanga padikkumbodhu we used to call it as coelentrata so nidaria they have included it very recently okay yes what is their characteristic they are aquatic again they have still not moved to terrestrial form they are marine mostly marine form marine nine na they stay in oceans okay they are sessile can anyone in the class tell me the meaning of this word sessile sessile nine na anybody what do you understand by sessile sessile means they are attached avanga vandu singala vaalvaanga they will be attached to a substratum that is what we call sessile or they can be free swimming okay every word is yes attached to rock or attached to any substratum very good bala okay they are aquatic mostly marine radial symmetry unga porifera enna asymmetrical unga tino sorry nidaria enna it is radially symmetry and what is the level of organization 
tissue level of organization okay and they are diploblastic you know triploblastic avanga vandu inno promote aagala okay ye nama idu vandu nideria nu solrom yena ivangalukku tentacles irukku la and the tentacles la specialized cells irukku and the cells per enna theriyuma needoblast okay adha vandu nama stinging cells nu solrom needoblast nu solrom so what are they they are poison containing cells okay we also call them as nematocyst adanal adha adha vandu nama nideria nu solrom okay did everyone understand porifera va ye nama porifera nu solrom ena adoda body la nariya pores irundhuchu nideria va ye nama nideria nu solrom because they have stinging cells called needoblast okay or needocytes where they have on the tentacles or on their body surface okay yes i have a question does anyone know what why why is it called sealant trait yeah that is sealant trait i'm solrom does anybody know yes hi pooja hi if it has stinging poison tentacles yes correct yes yeah these are some of the examples okay so they are exist in two forms one on the polyp form appo the mouth vandu upward a irukum okay polyp la enna irukum mouth is upward the other one is medusa the mouth is downward it is an umbrella shaped structure okay this is two important forms of your nideria yeah i asked a question why do we call sealant trait as sealant trait what is the reason does anybody know yeah, okay solunga solunga i will wait okay if you do, if you guys don't know i will tell what is the function of this needoblast na sonna la and needoblast stinging cells irukku nu adoda function enna na they help in anchorage they help in go and getting attached to a substratum in the ocean they help in defense yaarach adha vande like hurt panna try pannanga na it is going to use it as a defense and also to capture the prey okay they have the answer is here why do we call sealant trait as sealant trait because they have a gastrovascular cavity okay gastrovascular cavity irukku and the cavity per sealanteron okay yes the gastrovascular cavity that is present okay is called as sealanteron any doubts here any doubts yes digestion is and they have a mouth and the mouth is called hypostome okay and the digestion is intracellular digestion happens inside the cell okay some of the nidarians example corals have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate calcium carbonate la make panna or exoskeleton irukum okay and nidaria have two basic form i already discussed polyp and medusa polyp nine you have the anchored mouth up okay medusa is free floating polyp form and the move aga mediyada they are all sessile okay the mouth is up hydra okay hydra is an example of sealant trait okay then you have your medusa form which is free floating form id ellarkume clear ah puriyano every line is very very important okay can we continue pasangla yes or no polyp na sonna mari polyp and medusa okay polyp is sessile sessile na enna attached all these terms you should remember attached to a substratum they are cylindrical hydra na avu vechukonga cylindrical idu da avanga polyp form example hydra admise adamsia okay medusa nradhu or umbrella shaped it is free swimming okay they can give you four statements and they can ask you to find out which is correct which is wrong and the mari idhula idu kepaanga example aurelia jellyfish okay jellyfish is an exam jellyfish is not a fish it is a sealant trait okay they exhibit alternation of generation sila sealant traits and or generation la polyp form or generation la medusa form alternate pannuvaanga that is called metagenesis நான் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சொல்லி கொடுத்தது மெட்டாமெரிசம் இப்போ நான் சொல்லி கொடுத்துட்டு இருக்கிறது மெட்டாஜெனசிஸ் மெட்டாஜெனசிஸ்னா என்ன ஆல்டர்னேஷன் ஆஃப் ஜெனரேஷன் மெட்டாமெரிசம்னா என்ன செக்மெண்டேஷன் 
okay all of you put it in the chat box what is metagenesis alternation of generation where do you see metagenesis you see it in sealant rates where do you see metamerism you see it in analytes this chapter is all about comparing remembering and revising okay yes examples Umbo beautiful ana organisms okay so you have adansia adansia in the pero rombo mukyam pasangla inga kila kurthur kangla idu mukyo idu mukyo okay adansia is called sea anemon okay gorgonia is called sea sea fan okay fan maril ko adunala and the pera kurthur kanga then you have penatula it, it looks like a pen so we call this as sea pen okay next you have uh, this Oh no, in the null examples. Okay, and you also have Physalia, which I will discuss. One second. We will continue. This is very interesting. We call it as Physalia. What is Physalia? It is called Portuguese Man of War. This is a polyp form or Medusa form. Can anyone tell me whether this is a polyp or a Medusa form? Anybody in the class? Now I explain polyp and Medusa. So Physalia is a polyp or Medusa form? Simple question. Let me see how many of you will answer it. Hmm. It is a Medusa form. Okay. So you can see either ye am a Portuguese man of war and Solrona Pasangla because this used to go and get attached to ship and it used to cause problems for the uh, travelers, sailors Kurumbo Prachana Undako. Adanalada either one the Portuguese man of war and solro. Okay, we shall continue now. Now File and sealant trait are in examples. You can see Physalia, Obelia, Meandrina, Adansia, Aurelia, Gorgonia, Nideria, Penatula, Hydra. And all these examples are given in your textbook. Okay. That is very important. This is the NCRT line by line. So you have your polyp form, Medusa form. Polyp form ke example in Hydra and Adansia. Medusa form ke example in Aurelia or Jellyfish. They exhibit what? Metagenesis. So if you have your NCRT with you, please do underline all this. These are all very, very important. Okay. So the one which exhibits metagenesis in Obelia. Obelia can exhibit both a polyp form and Medusa form. And you also see other examples, Physalia. Portuguese man of war, Adamsia, sea anemone, okay, Penatula, sea pen, Gorgonia, sea fan, and Meandrina, brain coral. Rombo, rombo mukyo. Everything here is very, very, very important. Okay, this is your NCRT corner. Yes, this is the book, uh, this is the figure that's given in your textbook. It's a uh, structure of your needoblast. Okay, these are again your uh, textbook pictures. Okay, polyp and medusa form. I have a quick question here. Pick the most suitable terminology to designate the life cycle of Obelia. Very easy. Just I want everyone to answer it. Yes. Metamorphosis, neoteny, metagenesis, none of the above. What is the answer? What happened? I am not able to receive the comments. Are you guys answering? One second. Yes, very good. I see many answers. So the answer is option C, metagenesis. Very good, very good. All those who are answering, excellent. Keep it up. You are all very close to get that 8 or 12 marks in your NEET exam from Animal Kingdom. Okay. 
the next one we are moving on to the next phylum phylum tenophora so nama tenophora va enna nu kupro common ah we call them as sea walnuts or comb jellies nu solrom they are exclusively marine radially symmetrical unga sealant trait avum unga tenophora avum radially symmetrical still they are diploblastic tissue level of organization okay only your porifera is cellular level these two are tissue level of organization idha ye nama tenophora nu solrom nu purinjikalam digestion is both extracellular and intracellular it's all ipo vandu ungalku ella purinjirum sexes are not separate abdina enna they are hermaphrodites okay reproduction takes place only by sexual means fertilization is external with indirect development what is indirect development pasangla indirect development na enna can anyone watching this live tell me what is indirect development it involves hmm larval stages okay indirect direct development na no larval stage indirect development na it involves larval stages okay so you can see this is actually an organism they can exhibit their own light that's the most interesting thing yes larval stage very good very good okay idoda whole property idu ye nama vandu tenophora nu solrona the body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates இது வந்து நம்ம கூம்பு ஜெல்லிஸ்ன்னு சொல்றோம் இங்க பாக்குறீங்களா you can see eight ciliated comb plate like structure that is going to help in locomotion okay then they exhibit bioluminescence what is bioluminescence organisms exhibiting light okay they actually can fluoresce fluoresce na and they can produce their own light that is what is called bioluminescence idu romba important question which phylum can exhibit bioluminescence tenophora okay purinjada pasangala the property of a living organism to emit light is called bioluminescence and tenophora is a excellent example okay yes emit light very good very good so these are two examples tenoplana pleurobrachia so ellarum the example na namu vechukno cp okay tenoplana and pleurobrachia you can see how well they are exhibiting their light bioluminescence okay na konja naram kalichi questions kepa okay let me see how many of you will answer at that time so idu nam enna solrom again ncrt sea walnut or comb jellies exclusively marine they have comb plate etna row irukku eight external rows of comb plate irukku they exhibit bioluminescence and most important example is pleurobrachia fertilization is external indirect development okay simple can we continue pasangla ellarku purinjada tenophora ipo moonu phylum mudichitom enna enna phylum porifera coelentrata tenophora so idhe nadu this is my pleurobrachia this picture is pleurobrachia clear all of you watching this live please do let me know purinjada nan i have a quick question in phylum tenophora fertilization is dash with dash it's a direct ncrt lend copy paste panirka or line how many of you will tell me ipo da na sonna just now i said this answer fertilization is dash development is dash hmm let me see how many of you will answer it just put a b c d full answer kuda neenga type panna venda Yes, very good, very good, excellent Pooja, excellent Madan. You are all sure, sure to get this four marks. Yes, the answer is option A. External fertilization, indirect development. Very good. Thank you so much. I am very happy. Yes. Ipo platy helminthus. So, nama platy helminthus. Kamana inna n solro na flat worms n solro. okay they are dorso ventrally flattened ipo idu vandu avanga body na dorsal avu ventral avu apdi flat a irukum romba flat a irukum thin a irukum okay they are usually parasites what do you mean by parasite they go and infect or they go and take the nutrition from other organism so parasite la rendu vidham irukku onnu vandu ectoparasite innonu vandu endoparasite correct ah so platy elementus are endoparasite endoparasites na enna they live inside the host okay host ku ulla irupanga including human beings 
okay like your tapeworm liver fluke they are all very good examples for your platyhelminthes nariya per vandu parasitic tha bilaterally symmetrical ipo varaikum nama padichad enna pasangala radial symmetrical okay ipo nama paaka porad enna bilaterally symmetrical ipo thlandu ella phylum um bilaterally symmetrical tha porifera asymmetrical okay coelentrata tenophora radial symmetry platyhelminthes lendu chordates varaikum except few exceptions that i will tell all of them are bilaterally symmetrical is it clear ellarkum idu purinjada okay triploblastic from here all of them are triploblastic a coelomate they still have not developed coelom what is organization organ level of organization tissue level mudinjathu cellular level mudinjathu ipo we are going one step ahead that is organ level of organization innor vishayo they have hooks and suckers okay in the hooks enna pannona they help in attaching to the host okay attach to the host adhe in the suckers enna help pannona to derive nutrition to get nutrition you have this sucker okay parasitic formula hooks and suckers kandipa irukum that is one characteristics of platyhelminthes pasangla okay then nutrients from the host directly uh, get there to body surface la enter agum idu romba romba important okay flame cells all of you please put it in the chat box flame cells help in osmoregulation and excretion they can ask you what is the excretory organ in platyhelminthes flame cells okay ellarume idu clear ah purinjikonga nariya vaati ketirukanga sexes are not separate okay that means what they are still bisexual fertilization is internal that means it happens inside the body development is through many larval stage that is indirect development enna development pasangala indirect development okay planarian or organism irk okay it actually exhibits high level of regeneration regeneration na enna and the planaria edo aduk edo or adi pattrudu nu vechukonga it it loses some part of it it can regrow that part that is called as regeneration okay so they can ask you which organism exhibits high level of regeneration it is planaria hope it is clear pasangala ellarku idu purinjirukon nu nenikiren okay again every line is a possible question example tinea planaria fasciola okay tinea andra ellaru kelvi pattirukingla tapeworm does anyone know tapeworm it lives inside your intestine okay planaria andra adu adu or free living form pasangala okay planaria is free living and fasciola fasciola is again paras parasite okay tino planning failed you can remember it mnemonic okay yes so this is your ncrt line by line flatworm so ncrt book edunga and please mark panunga so they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic a coelome organ level of organization presence of hooks and suckers very very important flame cells idu idu mark pannunga okay they help in osmoregulation and excretion fertilization is internal and development is through larval stage rendu rendu example kuduthirukanga tapeworm that is tinea fasciola that is liver fluke this liver fluke lives inside the liver they are all endoparasites so endoparasites na enna they live inside the body of the host so ellarku purinjada platy elementis ellarku purinjada do let me know so now we shall move on to the examples okay tapeworm can be so many meters long also okay in phylum tenophora idhe thirupi the question is wrong i think okay the question is wrong here yeah now let's move on to ask elementus okay yeah i think it's clear all of you are getting it okay so ask elementus or a first important ana vishayam enna na they are called round worms nam platy elementus enna nu solrom flat worms idu enadhu round worms okay they are free living they can be aquatic 
they can be terrestrial so ipo ellarume tannil irundhu terrestrial ku evolve aayirukanga okay we have moved to higher phylums now okay they are parasitic they have organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical okay and one more very important thing i can see sexual dimorphism sexes are separate okay so sexual dimorphism na enna enala paatha onne i can differentiate a male and a female okay that is what we call it as sexual dimorphism okay this is a very very important character dimorphism ellarku purinjada flame cells means yeah flame cells are the excretory organs that are present in platy helminthes உங்க பிளாட்டி எலிமெண்ட்ஸ்ல இருக்க ஒரு எக்ஸ்கிரீட்ரி செல்ஸ் தான் உங்க फ्लेம் செல்ஸ் புரிஞ்சதா பூஜா did you get it you can make a note of it yeah இப்போ வந்து உங்களோட பிளாட்டி எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் வந்து ஏ சீலோமேட் இது என்னது பசங்களா இது வந்து சூடோ சீலோமேட் ஓகே they have slowly started to develop a coelom okay there is a complete digestive system elementary canal na enna unga digestive system is complete with a very well developed pharynx so the initial part of your digestive system is called pharynx okay and how is excretion happening excretion is happening via an excretory tube okay or excretory tube irukum that passes on the lateral side and that excretory tube will open as excretory pore so inge enna excretory organ excretory tube and excretory pore okay on the platy elementus la enna excretory organ it is flame cell sexes are separate okay here you can actually see unisexual organism males and female are distinct adha da na sonna we call it as sexual dimorphism fertilization is internal and development may be direct okay direct na enna no larval stages or indirect direct or indirect development rendu me irukku unga ask element this la okay i hope it is clear still here example okay ascaris wucheria and cyclostoma how can you remember this agent ron will find hall hackers okay ascaris oda peru vande round worm common name wucheria oda common name vande filarial worm and cyclostoma oda common name vande hook worm so you can remember using this mnemonic agent ron will find all hackers clear mnemonics will help you remember ena nariya examples irukku correct ah so and examples ela naabu vechikona na indha mari kutti kutti tricks kandipa use panni aaganum okay is it clear pasangala can we continue now yes so your ncrt line by line okay what is the important character here muscular pharynx bilaterally symmetrical pseudo coelomate okay they are dioecious that means what sexes are separate sexual dimorphism is seen okay development may be direct or indirect example ascaris round worm wucheria filarial worm and cyclostoma it is your hook worm purinjada ellarku purinjada idu varaikum can we continue so we finish ask elementus now okay you can see here the females are longer than the male so idha da nan sexual dimorphism nu solli solra okay what is there in your ncrt is more than enough in phylum ask elementus right from the previous slide i have a question often males are more longer than female females are longer than male sexes are not separate they do not exhibit sexual dimorphism what is the answer i want everyone watching this live to tell me the answer sollunga enna answer nu ipo dhan padicho yes very good very good excellent i have four people answering super right so the fe females are longer than males that's the right answer okay ipo nam enna paaka porom annelida paaka porom so here you see a lot of evolution pasangla okay here you have triploblastic they are coelomates true body cavity irukum they are segmented we will see what it is okay so annelida are called segmented worms okay adha nam first enna nu solrom platy helminthes a flat worms nu solrom ask helminthes a round worms nu solrom annelida va enna nu solrom 
segmented worms and so on. In our Mukhiamana Vishio Enana, they possess longitudinal and circular muscle. They have started to become muscular now. Okay, they have a longitudinal muscle and circular muscle. The muscle will contract, relax, contract, relax, and the organism will be able to move forward. Okay, so they can ask you, presence of longitudinal and circular muscle is a characteristic of phylum annelida. Okay, can we continue? All of you, let me know. Yes. So, their body is distinctly marked in segments. Other than our segmented worms and so on. Okay, they have an inner and external segmentation that is happening. So, on the segments and our inner so on. Metamers and so on. And the segmentation and so on. Metamerism. So, metamerism is true segmentation. And each segment is there, no? That is called metamers. Okay. In certain aquatic annelids, neeris, neeris, mari or idida or neeris, okay. Adilavande, you will have appendages, locomotion kaga, in the mari appendages irko. Adiperena, parapodia. So, they can ask you, what is the locomotory structure that is present in neeris? Undoubtedly, parapodia. Doubt it ever. Okay, what is the function of parapodia pasangla? It helps in swimming and locomotion. So, parapodia engarke? It is in neeris. Idu vande, hirudin area. Leech, right? I think all of you know leech, right? Uh, anyone has got a leech bite? Leech bite yarka dairka in the uh, hill station dala pomo do ungal ke teriyama you would have started bleeding. Apa pathinga ang or leech ando unga uh, usually it attacks your legs because it's very easy to reach there, right? So, inna agona, it is a blood sucking parasite, okay? So, leech is an egg. Ectoparasite, yes, it's an ectoparasite pasangla. It, it is going to live outside the body of the host. It actually drinks the human blood and gets its nutrition from it. Okay, so leech and rather or a parasitic analida. Clear? Yeah, yeah, salt kotana poiro. Yes, yes. Yeah. So examples. Feritima, that is your earthworm. Okay, earthworm order narriya functions, they are farmers, friend. Okay, they help in uh, making your soil fertile. Narriya Okay, reproduction is sexual, completely sexual. Okay, only your neeris is dioecious. Okay, so a closed tight circulatory system, very, very important. Can anyone in the class tell me what is closed tight circulatory system? Yeah, keep telling, I'll tell you till then, nephridia. Inga vande inna excretory organ pasangla, nephridia, rumbo rumbo important. Analida la erka excretory organ, nephridia. Ascalimenthes la erka nef, uh, excretory organ, excretory canal, excretory pore. Adhe yunga platy elementis la erka the flame cells. Okay. Blood vessels present. Yes, very good, very good. Yes. So, closed type na, they have a heart. The heart will pump the blood into blood vessels. It will be done so beautifully. Okay. Yes. Correct. Then, in the panga, you interesting on a feature panga. They have a nervous system. Okay. If on the oblo evolved right from porifera till analida, you can see nervous system coming up. Okay. You have a paired ganglia, ganglia under the a group of nerves. Okay. Which are connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord. So, what is Paired ganglia, arke, lateral nerves, arke, double ventral nerve cord. Arke. In the moon, vishyo arke, unga analida ala. Okay, they are very, very important for what pasangla? Nervous system. Okay, yes. So, examples. No person should exit exam hall before time. It's a mnemonic. Okay, neeris. Feritima, Feritima is a common name in a earthworm. Hirudinaria, Hirudinaria is a common name in a leech. Okay, this is very important. So, in the end picture, Kurthur Kanga, Niri Sindrade, or a freshwater form, leech in Rade, it is a parasitic form. Yes, blood is circulated to vessels. Very good, Puja. Yeah. So, this is your 
NCRT line by line, okay. So, in the segments, we will talk about metamers and all the other marks. Important point they are longitudinal and circular muscle, they have parapodia as their locomotory organ, nephridia is their excretory organ, okay. And uh, you have this about your nervous system, and you can see the example. Feri timana is an earthworm, okay. Hirudinaria is it is leech. This is the match the following type question. Like, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Mnemonics is left to you. Okay? Yeah. Yes. So, this is your neeris. This is your leech. I have a quick question. Which of the following is not a characteristic of phylum analida? What is it? Phylum analida is a characteristic. What is it? Epome question padike mo the either habita kondwanga in the not correct incorrect Adalakonjo please mark panikonga. Yes, very good. Others, others who are watching, please do tell the answer. The answer is option A. Ye na unga analida van the silo mate. Yes, it has segmentation, it has closed circulatory system, it has a ventral nerve cord. Very good. Very good, Bala. Very good, crazy dude. Very good. Okay. So, in the Mari question, then you expect panalam. We are coming to arthropoda. You know what? Arthropoda is the largest phylum in the animal kingdom. Idukudor question a kekla, which is the largest kingdom. Okay, it is your arthropoda. Sorry, largest phylum, kingdom in Sonana, largest phylum. Clear pasangla? In our vishya, the arthropoda and solrona. Arthro means jointed. Poda means appendages. They have jointed appendages. Okay. Like legs, antennae, wings. They are all jointed. That is why we Okay. And what is the characteristic? They have a chitinous exoskeleton. Okay. I think you, have, you know about endo and exo. Correct? Here exoskeleton is made up of a substance called chitin. Okay, and the body consists of three regions. Every line is important. Pasangla head, thorax, and abdomen. Ongo cockroach na bojhi konga. Idu 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 purunja ongo cockroach ondi easya purunjro. Structural organization in animals. Okay, so arthros means what? Jointed. Poda means what? Appendages. So inga vandu organ system level of organization varade. Naraya organs involve avade inga. Respiratory organ. You can see gills, book gills. Book lungs or tracheal system. This is the respiratory organ, ma'am. This is the arthropod and aquatic arcos, the arthropod and terrestrial arco. So, according to their habitat, they will have their respiratory organ. Circulatory system is open type. This is so very important. Unga analida is closed type. Unga arthropoda is open type. I want everyone to write arthropoda open type circulatory system. Open type na inna pasangla. What do you guys understand by open type circulatory system? Can anybody tell me? Yes. So, when I talk about arthropods, no, there are so many things, insects, irukhi, crustaceans, irukhi, okay, you have butterflies, you have this prawn, scorpion. So, there are a variety of organisms which I can talk about when it comes to arthropod. No blood vessels, very good. The blood is directly pumped into the body cavity, simple, okay. Yes. Ipo, sense organs, irukhi. Unga analida la vandu veru nervous system da arindhichi. Inga nervous system kooda sense organs irukku pasangla. It's very very interesting to know. They have antenna. Okay, why antenna is there? To sense their environment. They have eyes. Okay, they have compound and simple eye. They have statocyst. Or balancing organ irukku. Namalkala eppidi namaloda ears irukko. For us ears is an organ of balance, organ of equilibrium and also an organ of hearing. Okay, similar organ called statocyst is present. Okay, that is going to help in balancing. Next line, rombo rombo mukyo, excretion takes place through malphigian tubules. They are mostly dioecious. Dioecious na na? Sexes are separate. Okay, fertilization is internal. And you have 
ओवीपैरस दे आर एग लेइंग यू कैन सी हाउ द डेवलपमेंट इज हैपनिंग ओके एंड दे मे बी डिरेक्ट और इनडिरेक्ट डेवलपमेंट यार का डाउट रखा एक्सक्रीशन रोम मुख्यम सेन्स आर्गन रोम रोम मुख्यम ओके आंटेना ईस् एंड स्टाटोस ओके कैन वी कंटिन्यू पसंगा ऑर्थ्रोपोडा इज द लार्जस्ट फाइलम इन द एनिमल किंगडम सो सी नेम्स को सो आर्थ्रोपोडा एकनामिकली इंपार्ट अब दे आर वेक्टर्स दे कॉस् लाट आफ स्प्रेडिंग आफ डि इतना डेंगू सीसन एंग पाता डेंगू वै बिकॉज योर मस्किटोज आर मोर बिकॉज आफ रेन राइट एंड दे आक्ट आज वेक्टर्स फॉर स्प्रेडिंग द डि correct so you can see anopheles mosquito culex mosquito aedes mosquito they are all vectors they carry disease from one person to another person pest you have cockroach okay and you have locusta and you have this idu romba important pasangala living fossil limulus okay adu per enna king crab nu solrom these are all some of the importance of your arthropods हाँ एकनामिकली इंपार्ट है हनी बी वि आल लव हनी राइट सो फ्रम वेड यू गेट हनी हनी यू गेट इट फ्रम हनी बी एंड आल गेल लव सिल्क सारी राइट फ्रम वेड यू गेट दट सिल्क फाइबर यू गेट इट फ्रम बॉम्बिक्स ओके एंड लैसी फर लैक इंसेक्ट दीस आर ऑल सम दि इकनामिकली इंपार्ट आर्थ्रोपोज ओके दिस इज योर एन सी आर टी लार्जस्ट फाइलम ना आलरे स over 2/3 of all named species on earth are arthropods see the number pasangla out of 100% 2/3 of them are arthropods okay they are by organ system level bilaterally symmetrical idella ellarku theriyo this is very important chitinous exoskeleton okay and they have body is divided into head thorax and abdomen jointed appendages irukke okay then respiratory organ okay circulation is open type then you have malpighian tubules very very important what is the function of malpighian tubule they help in excretion development may be direct or indirect inga paarenga idu da romba romba mukkiyam apis enadhu honey bee match the following type question bombyx enadhu silkworm lacifer enadhu lac insect they are all economically important vectors anopheles culex and aedes okay then you have pest you have locust and king crab okay that's it pasangla that's your arthropoda for you next we are moving on these are some of the examples that's given in your textbook okay next we will move on to i have a question very simple question in phylum arthropoda excretion takes place through i want everyone watching this live to tell this ipo da just ipo da na sonna very no no think properly think properly it is yes b malpighian tubules okay unga flame cells enga irukku pasangala platy helminthes platy helminthes unga nephridia enga irukku pasangala annelida kidney enga irukku vertebrates okay compare and study that will make your understanding very 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 easy or else onnume puriyadhu okay yes yeah now we are moving on to mollusca mollusca first largest enna it is your arthropoda second largest enna mollusca second largest phylum in the animal kingdom so avangaloda uh, habitat enna terrestrial or aquatic so when it comes to aquatic they can be marine or fresh water they have organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic silomate this is very important the body is covered by a calcareous shell and is unsegmented they are not segmented and the body is divided into three regions on arthropoda is divided into head thorax and abdomen correct here they are divided into head muscular foot and visceral hump okay head foot and visceral hump okay all of you are understanding any doubts still here can we continue okay yes a soft body mollusca na enna theriyuma soft bodied animals so snail paathirpinga correct ah animals okay 
and the space between the hump and the mantle is called mantle and uh, region or soft and a spongy layer of skin forms a mantle idu vandu unga visceral hump na adukku mela or mantle irukum okay and the space between these two is called as the mantle cavity okay you have mantle you have your visceral hump and the space between the visceral hump and the mantle is called as mantle cavity and the mantle cavity la enna irukku feather like gills they can ask you that feather like endradhu romba important word where do you see feather gills endradhu idhiliyum irukku correct ah um conduct pannalam i will conduct okay yes konja portions mudichitana i thought i will conduct okay yes na enna solittu irundha mantle cavity la vande feather marina gills irukku okay they have respiratory and excretory function so in the gills oda function enna it helps dual function rendu function correct ah onnu vande respiration innonu vande excretion okay the anterior head region has sensory tentacles inga paakringa la tentacles marina or structure irukum that will help in feeding that will help in defense idella next solla pora point romba romba mukkiyam nariya vaati ketirukanga the mouth contains file like rasping feeding organ called radula namalku pall irukla adhe mari your mollusca have teeth like structure file na enna and the sharp knife mari irukum la like that structure is called radula okay all of you understood where is radula present mollusca they are usually dioecious dioecious na enna sexes are separate oviparous indirect development you see lot of larval stages okay idu or story mari nabuga vechikta podu okay animal kingdom is the easiest chapter out of all okay we have some examples so people of paris save light current on all days okay idu important idu important all of you listen to me very carefully na solla solla neengalum repeat pannunga so that it will stay in your mind pila or pila okay it's apple's name pink toda pearl oyster so i think all of you know pearl correct so pearl enga irundhu kedaikidhu unga mollusca la irundhu kedaikidhu adu enga irundhu kedaikidhu pink toda sepia cuttle fish okay loligo squid nariya per squid saapiduvaanga correct ah then keto pleura chiton octopus devil fish aplysia sea hare okay dentalium tusk shell unga elephant tusk irukla adhe mari irukum or mollusca okay this examples are very very important pasangala kandipa kekla they can ask you as a match the following question or choose the choose the right choose the wrong and the mari kekla okay can we continue can all of you tell me if you have understood this mnemonics you can make your own mnemonics or you can follow what i have already given okay coming to ncrt second largest phylum okay they have head mus- muscular foot and visceral mass and what is mantle mantle enna irukku gills irukku en kude ellarume underline pannunga ncrt book la they have both respiratory and excretory function okay and what is the head have the head has radula okay they are usually dioecious and oviparous with indirect development so this examples we already discussed ellaru in the examples romba romba clear ah padichukonga so i think tomorrow i will put a pyq on animal kingdom okay uh, recorded video podren so adha paarenga ungalku theriyum evlo questions ungalala answer panna mudiyudunu okay yes we will continue so these are some examples this is your pila and this is your octopus devil fish and octopus i put a son that's the question now what is the common name of devil fish can anyone tell me just now i said all of you watching the live can tell me ipo ninga kek aarambichirnalu solalam yes very easy octopus okay i didn't know that question was coming now we will move on to echinodermata okay so echino na in a spine derma na in a skin okay it is yes pooja correct okay so spine skinned or animals are called echinodermates okay so they have an endoskeleton so ulla iruka skeleton is made up of 
calcareous ossicles avanga bone mari structure illa bone ku konju similar a iruka structure da nama ossicles nu solluvom hence the name echinodermata so starfish paathirkingla ethana per starfish unmayana starfish paathirkinga please do tell me yes all are marine there are no fresh water forms remember it is very very important with organ system level of organization okay the adult echinoderm in the line is rombo rombo mukyo adult echinoderm vandu radially symmetrical okay na sonnala exceptions irukku sila exceptions irukku nu whereas your larval are bilaterally symmetrical உங்க ஸ்டார் ஃபிஷ் எடுத்துக்கோங்க கரெக்டா இதெல்லாம் இப்படி கட் பண்ணலாம் இப்படி கட் பண்ணலாம் இப்படி கட் பண்ணலாம் இப்படி கட் பண்ணலாம் வாட் டஸ் இட் மீன் தேர் ரேடியலி சிமெட்ரிக்கல் ஓகே வேர் ஆஸ் மை லார்வல் ஸ்டேஜஸ் ஆர் பைலாட்ரலி சிமெட்ரிக்கல் ஓ எஸ் நானும் அப்படி தான் பார்த்துருக்கேன் ஐ ஹவ் நாட் சீன் அ ரியல் ஒன் எஸ் இது வந்து ட்ரிப்ளோ பிளாஸ்டிக் சீலோமேட் த யூ சீ தேர் நான் ரொம்ப சின் சின்னதாக பார்த்துருக்கேன் லைக் வெரி ஸ்மால் ஒன் ஐ ஹவ் சீன் then id romba romba mukyo digestive system is complete with mouth on the ventral side so mouth vandu pinnadi irukum anus will be on the upper side or dorsal side every line is very very important okay innor mukhyamana vishayam enna na they have water vascular system ivungalku vandu blood adala onnume kedaiyadu ஓகே உங்கள் பாரிஃபெரால் பார்த்தது வாட்டர் கெனால் சிஸ்டம் இதில் பார்க்க போகிறது வாட்டர் வேஸ்குலார் சிஸ்டம் ஓகே விச் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் இன் லோக்கோ மோஷன் கேப்சரிங் த ப்ரே அண்ட் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் அண்ட் ரெஸ்பிரேஷன் ஓகே இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு எஸ் எஸ் ஆமாம் அப்படி அந்த பக்கம் தான் இருக்கும் யா ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் அண்ட் தே ஆல்சோ ஹேவ் சம்திங் கால் டியூப் ஃபீட் that helps in locomotion rombo rombo mukyo reproduction is sexual fertilization is usually external development is indirect with free swimming larva or or word la rendu in the nta karanga vandu questions frame pannalam so we need to read it very 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 precisely okay yes example ah after exam watch augi and cockroach augi and cockroach etana per paathirkinga yes so you have af- after is for asteris which is your starfish okay echinus is sea urchin in the word romba romba important ophuria is brittle star antedon is sea lily cucumaria is sea cucumber inga paarenga idu vandu brit sea sea urchin okay this is your sea cucumber idu vandu feather star idu vandu ungala starfish இன்னொரு விஷயம் சொன்ன they have tube feet for locomotion adu important okay and examples very very important and they have indirect development with free swimming larval stage okay can we continue all of you can we continue echinodermata mudinjathu idoda nammaloda invertebrates mudinjathu okay yes you can see that is asteris this is ophuria ophuria vand brittle star nu solrom and the star vand romba brittle la irukum okay brittle na enna romba weak a irukum it can break and the mari irukum yes i have a quick question what is the most distinctive feature of echinodermata water vascular system indirect development monaceous digestive system i want everyone to answer this question yes renisha very good bala very good romba clear water vascular வாட்டர் கெனால் சிஸ்டம் எங்க இருக்கு பசங்களா வாட்டர் வாஸ்குலர் சிஸ்டம் இங்க இருக்கு வாட்டர் கெனால் சிஸ்டம் எங்க இருக்கு அது யார் சொல்லுவீங்க எஸ் வெரி குட் மதன் வெரி குட் பூஜா வெரி குட் வெரி குட் எக்ஸலன்ட் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஆர் வாட்சிங் மீ தேங்க்யூ அது அந்த பக்கம் போயிடுச்சா ஓகே 
yes now we are moving on to hemi core data so hemi core data vandu nama or phylum core data la or sub phylum ah consider pandrom hemi na ena semi it is neither a chordate or it is neither a non chordate adanalu adha vandu nadula place pannirukom okay now it is placed as a separate phylum under non chordate so idu enna idu romba chinna small set of organism da okay they are worm like okay marine animals with organ system level of organization examples adoda characters adu matra naam vechikta podum okay they are coelomate bilaterally symmetrical idu vandu ellarku or poduvana characters da okay idu da romba mukkiyam example balenoglossus hemichordata oda what is the time for daily session it will be usually in the afternoon madhyanam da irukum epovume i will try to take in the evenings maybe from next week okay so edu ungal comfortable ana timings adhu kuda sollunga okay yeah balenoglossus so balenoglossus la the body is cylindrical cylinder mari irukum it has three important region anterior proboscis the proboscis endradhu or mouth marina structure okay then you have a small neck like structure called collar okay then you have a long tail like structure called trunk proboscis collar and trunk these are the three regions of your balenoglossus so balenoglossus indra the edoda example hemichordata so id hemichordata va ipo inga place pannirukanga unga non chordates la place pannirukanga okay yes circulatory system is open type respiration is through gills idu romba important excretory organ is proboscis gland proboscis irka proboscis la or gland irukku that is called proboscis gland okay sexes are separate fertilization is external development is indirect okay so the example is balenoglossus and sacoglossus in the glossus and the word irundale adu vandha enoda hemichordata da ellarku purinjada did everyone understand this hemichordates any doubts yarka edha doubts irka okay so this is your ncrt so pencil eduthukonga they have a stomochord ye idu vandha nama hemichordata nu solrona because they have a rudimentary can anyone tell me what is rudimentary rudimentary na enna they are non functional irukku ana illa irundho aduk use illa correct adha da nama rudimentary nro illa vestigial nu kuda solluvom okay they are non functional that is very very important to understand or stomochord irukku ana adu vande function agala adu adu vande or notochord ku similar ah irukku adanalada avanga confuse aayiruchu indha classify pandra avangalukku idu non chordates la seipoma illa chordates la seipoma appra thaniya or phylum e panitaanga adukku okay yes so they have a proboscis collar and trunk okay the circulatory system is open type respiration is through gills excretory organ is proboscis gland any doubts till here okay now we are moving on to the most important thing that is your chordates chordates for the munadi or question okay uh, hemichordata was earlier placed under which phylum first adha vandu endha phylum la place pananga option a cynodermate amphibia chordata none yes call data very good very good very good yes i'm getting very good answers yes correct all of them were answering tap yourself romba nalla solreenga ipo call date ku polom romba mukkiyamaana vishayam call date la moonu mukkiyamaana characters irukku idu romba romba clear ah naam vechikano presence of notochord nama paathom la dorsal region la or notochord irukku la solid supporting structure that is one character the next character is nerve cord okay and presence of pharyngeal gill slits so id eppadi varam vechikala n n g okay n is for notochord another n is for your uh, nerve cord g is for gill slits gill slits na ena openings of the gills so ma'am nammalku gills irundacha yes we also have gills okay when will this gills be present in our embryonic stage okay in our fetal stage ipo irukad that gill slits would have got, would have closed but we had gill slits in our embryonic stage okay clear pasangla 
this three characters clear and they are by the common all chordates ko idu common bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomate organ system level of organization innor mukhyamana vishayam we have a ventral heart the heart is towards the front side and post anal tail present okay human beings ne tail iruka tail illa but tail bone is present okay so we all evolved from our ancestors so the tail bone is still there okay purinjada everyone understood still here ipo vande inda phylum chordata va moonu sub phylum ah pirikrom onnu vande sub phylum uro chordata innor vande sub phylum cephalo chordata brain naam vechukonga cephalo okay the next one is sub phylum vertebrata okay phylum chordata divided into three sub phylum okay uro chordata cephalo chordata vertebrata ucv we have a lot of mnemonics in this chapter okay can we continue yes so ipo nama vande uro chordata pathi enna nu paapom notochord is present only in the larval tail uro na something related to tail something related to the posterior part of my body if the notochord is present only in my tail region then we call such organism as urochordates okay example ascidia romba kashtam idala naamga vechikka nenaikadinga or rendu moonu vaati revise panninga na eppadi or movie la or song eppadi naamga vechikringa adha mari easy ah naamga vechikka okay write and practice that's the whole key here ascidia salpa and dolionum okay cephalochordata cephalochordata na enna the notochord extends from head to tail from the head region till the tail region the notochord is going to extend and it is going to persist throughout the life larval stages mattrum kedaiyadu adu throughout the life vande ungalku vande in the notochord irukum that is cephalochord in the vertebrata na enna in the notochord is replaced by vertebral column we all have a vertebral column correct enna aayirukku in vertebrata and the notochord vande embryonic stages la vertebrates are replaced panna patrukku the vertebral column is a precursor that is formed by your notochord so notochord vande vertebral column aayirukku ellarku purinjada did everyone understand what is urochordata cephalochordata and vertebrata okay cephalochordata or example branchiostoma any doubts here before we proceed urona tail region cephalona from head to tail region and it persists throughout the life vertebrata vertebrana it possesses only in embryonic stage la notochord irukum then it is later on replaced by what vertebral column okay great great yes so idu da ipo nama vertebrata ku la polom okay so vertebrata va rendu division ah vande divide pandrom onnu vande agnatha innonu vande nathostomata agnatha na enna jaws irukka nam ellarku inga jaws irukku la avangalukku vande jaws irukada we call them as jaw less organism okay in the nathostoma na they have jaws okay idha vande nama further ah rendu super class ah divide pandrom ஒன்னு வந்து பைசிஸ் ஆர் ஃபிஷஸ் ஓகே இன்னொன்று வந்து டெட்ரா போடா டெட்ரா போடானா என்ன டெட்ரானா என்ன ஃபோர் போடானா என்ன லிம்ஸ் தே ஆல் ஹாவ் ஃபோர் லிம்ஸ் ஓகே நோ கமிங் டு திஸ் ஃபிஷஸ் தே ஆர் கிளாசிஃபைட் இன் டு கான்ட்ரிக்டிஸ் அண்ட் ஆஸ்டிக்டிஸ் கான்ட்ரிக்டிஸ்னா என்ன காட்டிலேஜினஸ் ஃபிஷ் ஆஸ்டிக்டிஸ்னா என்ன போனி ஃபிஷ் ஓகே ஹியர் ஆம்ஃபீபியா ரெப்டீலியா ஏவ்ஸ் அண்ட் மேமல்ஸ் okay under agnatha you just have one single class that is cyclostomata okay is romba romba clear ah puriyano in the this is from your ncrt only okay in the flow chart vand clear ah purinjada vera ella vishayamu puriyo okay can we now start with agnatha yes so division agnatha has one single class called cyclostomata so what do you see here the mouth is circular ஓகே என்ன மாதிரி இருக்கும் சைக்ளோனா என்ன இட் இஸ் சர்க்குலர் ஸ்டொமேட்டானா என்ன ஓப்பனிங் 
ஓகே தே ஆர் எக்டோ பாரசைட் இவங்க போய் வேற ஃபிஷ் மேல போய் பாரசைட்டா இருப்பாங்க ஓகே தே ஹேவ் சக்கிங் அண்ட் சர்க்குலர் மவுத் சின்ஸ் தே ஆர் பாரசைட் அண்ட் தே டூ நாட் ஹேவ் ஜாஸ் and body is devoid of scales scales irukum theriyuma fishes la and the scales vandu ivungalku kedaiyadu okay gills for respiration cranium and vertebral column is cartilaginous okay circulation is closed type that means what the heart pumps blood into blood vessel this is very interesting inga paarenga evlo smart ah irukanga paarenga they are marine but migrate to fresh water for spawning spawning na na egg laying okay and die after few days larva returns to sea after metamorphosis so first marine water la nu fresh water ku povanga anga poi egg lay panvanga the egg will hatch into larval stage the larval stage swims back to marine water after metamorphosis metamorphosis na na development of development of adult okay example petromyzon and maxin petromyzon na nam enna nu solrom lamp prey nu solrom maxin na enna nu solrom hag fish nu solrom again these two examples are important okay i hope this is clear yes so they use both marine water and fresh water ipo romba mukkiyamaana vishayam nariya vaati idlan question ketirukanga cartilaginous fish and bony fish okay cartilaginous fish are usually marine ஓகே மெரைன் நான் என்ன வெறும் சீ வாட்டர் ஓஷன் வாட்டர் அந்த மாதிரி தண்ணியில தான் இருப்பாங்க ஸ்ட்ரீம் லைன்டு பாடி ஸ்ட்ரீம் லைன் தான் என்ன போட் மாதிரின பாடி வை டூ திங்க் ஃபிஷஸ் ஆர் ஸ்ட்ரீம் லைன்டு பாடி எனி ஐடியா ஏன் வந்து ஃபிஷஸ்க்கு வந்து ஒரு ஸ்ட்ரீம் லைன்டு பாடி இருக்கு எனி ஐடியா இட் இஸ் நாட் தேர் பட் யூ கை ஷுட் நோ இட் ம் டெல் மீ ஐ வில் கண்டினியூ டெல் மீ ஓகே வாட் இஸ் த எண்டோ ஸ்கெலிட்டன் மேட் அப் ஆஃப் cartilaginous cartilage i think all of you know cartilage in the ear pinna tip of your nose there are flexible correct they are actually cartilage yes yeah actually swim easily eppadi swim easily to break the water current okay they have to go against the water current that's why you have this streamlined body very good puja very good yes so they have five to seven pairs of gills okay and without operculum operculum na enna opening kada indha mari ipdi irukad okay they just have gills slits okay without any covering gills slits na openings of gills operculum na there is some skin like structure that is going to cover my gill slits okay so here you have four pair of gills covered with operculum everything every line is important pasangala elementary canal opens into cloaca in the cloaca andrad enad it is a common opening for reproductive and digestive system that is called cloaca okay elementary canal opens into anus inga vande air bladder is absent okay yeah air bladder is absent hence to avoid sinking swims continuously see romba interesting idu okay in the chondrichthyes la enna irukna air bladder indra or structure illa so adanal air vandu store panna mudiyad okay so it has to continuously swim to in order to prevent from sinking okay next air bladder is present so they can take some rest heart is two chambered poikilotherms heart is two chambered poikilotherms now i have a question for all of you poikilotherms na enna pa what do you mean by poikilotherms i want everyone who are watching this to tell me paravala thappa irnalum paravala please do answer what is poikilotherms yeah i will continue till then sexes are separate male have pelvic fins which bear claspers or clasping structure mari irukum that will help in copulation here sexes are separate tough skin skin vandu rombo hard ah irukum okay with plecoid scales yes cold blooded apdi na enna kekkra what is cold blooded in kekkra okay skin is covered with scales okay inga tenoid scales irko internal fertilization external fertilization they are vv paras vv paras na enna they give direct birth to egg one direct birth ov paras na enna they are egg laying okay you have an electric organ see how interesting it is it is present in torpedo okay ray ray fish in vaanga la then you have a poison string that is present in trigon they are all a mechanism of defense 
okay sexes are separate males have pelvic fin which bear claspers here also the sexes are separate yes let me see porculotherms yaar solirkeenga can change the temperature to external temperature very good very good renisha so uh, fishes and the cold blooded adha ye nama cold blooded nu solrona pasangala because their body temperature changes according to the surrounding environment maarite irukum adha da nama poikilotherms nu solrom illa cold blooded nu solrom nammalla okay especially your aves and mammals we are all warm blooded nama body temperature undu constant ah irukum nama surrounding temperature evlo maarnalo nama body temperature undu constant ah irukum adha da warm blooded clear very good very good renisha yes yeah examples romba mukyam okay scolioden dogfish pristis sawfish okay then you have your shark inga marine la hippocampus sea horse okay then you have exocetus flying fish the fl the fish flies gets oxygen and then gets inside like that okay then you have rohu katla the idella saapra fishes correct ah the fishes which are used in our kitchen katla rohu and all yes ipo vandha nama or comparative understanding panna porom mich naal idhukku classes ko amphibia reptilia aves and mammals idhu naal class okay so let's start with habitat okay amphibians enga irukum enoda aquatic liyum irukum terrestrial liyum irukum correct ah adhe mari reptiles are mostly terrestrial and then aves they have the presence of feathers they are arboreal and row adha enna and row arboreal or aerial arboreal illa aerial arboreal is for those who live on trees okay then mammals mostly terrestrial few can fly like your bat few can live in water like your uh, whale dolphin okay then limbs ethana pair of limb irukku two pairs of limbs irukku correct ah limbs limb two pair if present okay then you have four limb is modified into wings on the birds la the four limb is modified into wings the wings is covered by feathers now the mammals la two pair of limbs irukku one on the four limb in one on the hind limb skin it is moist romba moist ah irukum frog oda skin okay and it is not having any scales adhe unga reptiles la dry கார்னிஃபைடு ரொம்ப ஹார்டாக இருக்கும் அவங்க ஸ்னேக் ஆகட்டும் குரோக்கோடைல் ஆகட்டும் ஓகே ஆலிகேட்டர் ஆகட்டும் தே ஆல் ஹாவ் வெரி ட்ரை ஸ்கின் ஓகே அண்ட் தே ஆர் ஹேவிங் ஸ்கேல் ஓகே கம்மிங் டு ஏவ்ஸ் ஸ்கின் இஸ் ட்ரை விதவுட் கிளான்ஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் தே ஹாவ் லாங் போன்ஸ் ஓகே நியூமேட்டிக் போன்ஸ்ன்னு சொல்லுவோம் என்னன்னு சொல்லுவோம் பசங்களா நியூமேட்டிக் அவங்க இப்போ யூஸ்வலி போன்குள்ள என்ன இருக்கணும் போன் மேரோ இருக்கணும் கரெக்டா அதே இந்த அக்வாட்டிக் சாரி ஏவ்ஸ்ல யூ வில் நாட் ஹாவ் போன் மேரோ பிகாஸ் தட் வில் மேக் த பேர்ட் ஃபீல் வெரி லைட் ஸோ தட் இட் கேன் ஃப்ளை ஈஸிலி இட்ஸ் அன் அடாப்டேஷன் ஃபார் ஃப்ளைட் ஓகே எஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் யூ ஹாவ் ஹியர் இன் ஹியூமன் பீயிங்ஸ் ஸ்கின் பொசஸஸ் ஹேர்ஸ் கரெக்ட் தட் இஸ் அ கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக் ஆஃப் மேமல்ஸ் presence of hairs presence of mammary gland that is why the name mammals okay next respiration gills lungs or skin okay inga vand lungs lungs and lungs okay in your fishes it is still gills and skin is also involved here ipo heart pathi paakalam romba romba mukyam three chambered heart cold blooded unga amphibia உங்க ரெப்டைல்ஸ் வந்து த்ரீ சேம்பர் எக்ஸப்ட் ஃபார் குரோக்கோடைல் குரோக்கோடைல்ல மட்டும் எத்தனை சேம்பர் இருக்கு நாலு சேம்பர் இருக்கு ஓகே யோர் ஏவ்ஸ் அண்ட் மேமல்ஸ் ஆர் அகேன் ஃபோர் சேம்பர் ஃபோர் சேம்பர் ஓகே ஓவி பேரஸ் ஆர் விவி பேரஸ் ஆல் ஆஃப் தெம் ஆம்பிபியா ரெப்டைல்ஸ் அண்ட் மேமல்ஸ் ஆர் ஓவி பேரஸ் வேர் ஆர் யோர் மேமல்ஸ் கேன் பி ஓவி பேரஸ் ஆர் விவி பேரஸ் ஓகே ஸோ சம் எக்லேயிங் மேமல்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பிளாட்டிபஸ் அண்ட் எக்கிட்னா okay platypus and echidna are example for oviparous mammals they lay eggs okay edacha doubt irundha please do ask examples rana frog salamander hyla okay Cro reptiles ku chameleon crocodile okay your aves you have columbia pavo ostrich next you have for mammals you you guys only know numerous examples okay so vertebrates examples nabu vachikiradhu romba easy okay salamander toad rana hyla id and tree frog and row id and common frog and row okay this is your reptiles chameleon crocodile okay naga is uh, your uh, 
snake okay yes aids this names pasangla they are asked once in your exam they are given a match the following type question okay pavona enna unga peacock okay struti tona enna it's your parrot then you have your ostrich in the mari kepan okay here you can see this is your mammals okay yeah we have a quick question an important characteristic that hemichordates share with chordates tell me hemichordates ku chordates ku irka or similar ana character presence of absence of notochord okay hemichordates first underline hemichordate and chordate pharynx without gill slits pharynx with gill slits ventral tubular nerve cord what is a common character any answers any answers okay we'll check very good pharynx with gill slits those who answered it as c very good okay next idhe analida therapy vandhuchilla okay so pick the correct statement all pisces have gills covered by an operculum no correct all reptiles have three chambered heart this is also wrong all cyclostome do not possess jaw and tail fin this is correct all mammals are viviparous this is wrong because i have oviparous also okay i have one more question a jawless fish which lay egg in fresh water okay and whose amocytes larva after metamorphosis return to the ocean what is the example in ketrukanga jawless fish what is the answer for this question mixin petromycon okay neomyxin the answer is petromycon okay yes so this is your ncrt hollow nerve cord paired pharyngeal gill slits and your notochord these are all most important characters of your chordates okay inga paarenga notochord nerve cord gill slits openings of the gills is called gill slits yes idu da unga chordates and non chordates oda difference right from your ncrt so kandipa kekala so what do you see here notochord present notochord absent central nervous system is dorsal hollow and single unga non chordates la enna irukke it is dorsal okay it is hollow and single inga vande central nervous system is ventral solid and double okay pharynx perforated by gill slit gill slits are absent heart is ventral heart is dorsal if it is present post anal tail is present post anal tail is absent romba important idla nariya question form panni ungalku kekala okay yes so this is your ascidia this is the division which we studied okay sila pictures kuduthirukanga inga idala already paathitom yes this is very important. complete understanding of the entire fine with the ncrt la irukku so ellarum idha matra konja revise pannirenga one second yeah so that's for today's session pasangala i will upload today or tomorrow pyqs from this chapter okay if you guys have any any doubts please do let me know i will wait okay in the chapter la enna enna la kekalam solliten inno ungalku edaachu doubt iruka in the in the topic innoru vaati pannunga nu sonnala i will do it please do let me know purinjada did everyone understand understood this topic arnisha understood okay others vera edaachu doubts iruka okay so i think we completed animal kingdom tomorrow i'll try to come up with a live uh, photosynthesis pandra naalaki i know dna fingerprinting or a topic micha irukku tomorrow i will do photosynthesis the time will be notified okay okay guys okay thank you for decoding biology with me and don't forget to answer this quiz okay the description la vandu link kudukapatirukku please do check it out and do go and comment in this video if you have understood something edho onnu ungalku animal kingdom pathi purinjirundha please do let it know in the in the comments so that many people watch it and many people are benefited by that thank you so much for all your support thank you thank you bye 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 thank you